So here we have the Ford Cougar on a 16 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge, and above that, the main trip computer. Um, you can see there, the total miles, they are 70,179. We have a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed. Uh, you've got plenty of other options in terms of things you can have up here. Um, all these trip computer, bits of trip computer information, or you can have these four pieces of information simultaneously, and then we're back around to the beginning again. And the buttons I was using to do that are just here. Beneath that, we have cruise control and speed limiter. We have stereo and phone controls over on the right-hand side. Now, you'll only be able to use the phone controls after such time as you pair the phone up uh, to the car. And that is done over in the center just here. Uh, if you hit connect to phone, And then from there, you would add device. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. Just follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, you can come all the way back out uh, to the home screen, or you can use the buttons down here to bring yourself out to certain options as well. Uh, so you've got the home screen button just there. Uh, access to your music is down in the bottom left-hand corner. We have AM, FM and DAB radio, CD player, USB input, uh, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, SD memory card input, and auxiliary input as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. We have the main volume for the stereo just there, our hazard warning lights and deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, you can see the air conditioning's on, so it's off back on again or hit auto the car will now take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for any manual adjustment will override that straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings beneath that we have a heated front screen heated rear screen we can turn the stop and start off we can turn the parking sensors on and off and this button in the middle will turn on the autonomous parking this car is able to park itself um, you have to control uh, the accelerator, the brake and the gears, but the car will tell you when to do each of those things and it does the steering for you. Uh, we have a six speed manual gearbox finally. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.